Welcome. This is the fourth video in this series. Globcon can assign MIDI and OSC messages to faders and mutes. It can present faders and mutes and meters at an IP address accessible by any smart device and computer on the network. Let's take a look at web-based control layers first. Globcom can present faders, mutes and meters at an IP address. These controls can be accessed by any other smart device or computer's web browser on the same network. If you think back to the grouping tutorial, this could make group faders and mutes for different areas of your venue controllable by any smart device. This control being available to appropriate people or a control panel on a wall. Let's assign some groups to control layers. In this short video, we're going to shift left click a number of group faders. This creates a multi-select group. These are the group faders and mutes and meters that we want to appear at our web-based control panel. Once we have made our multi-select, we right click one of the faders and then we assign this to a remote controller. We can then inspect our control layer assignments on the toolbar in the layer manager. We're quite happy with this. And then all we need to do is fire up our web browser to inspect those faders, gains, mutes and meters. And as you can see, any changes on any device are mirrored across all devices. Input faders, output faders and group faders and mutes can also be controlled by MIDI and OSC messages. Let's see how easy it is to assign faders and mutes to external MIDI control. Firstly, control left click to multi-select your faders like before. It's a similar workflow to most software. Let's do it. We right click the channel fader, which we want to MIDI control. We select a sign level trigger. We select learn. We move a fader on our MIDI controller. The MIDI message arrives. We click it. We click assign it. In this instance, we are doing a number at once. So we click assign all. Now let's do the same for mute. We right click the fader. We select assign mute trigger. We select learn. We press mute on our MIDI controller. The MIDI messages arrive. We click it. We assign it. In this instance, again, we are doing a number at once. So we assign all. Now we're ready to test it. Let's move the faders on our MIDI controller. It's working. Let's toggle the mute on our MIDI controller. You can see in this example, it's easy to assign multiple channels at once. A great feature allowing further remote control options, managing systems in venues and touring alike. Thanks for watching.